Resolve, let him target it. This is gonna break his heart. Starfield Mystic is a hexproof. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Today we are playing Arena Cube Sealed, a new format into MTG Arena. It's a lot of fun and it is absolute mayhem, you guys. I hope you brought your limited thinking caps because you're gonna need it because this environment of limited is very diverse and very competitive. So you've gotta be on your game. Quick reminder that this month is brought to you by Aether Hub and MTGA Assistant. You can download MTGA Assistant in the link below in our description. With that all being said, thanks again for watching. We are live every single morning, 6 a.m. PST on Twitch. And the most important thing is that you join our Discord community link in the description below. With that all being said, make sure to hit that bell icon if you haven't again and slap that subscribe button because I know you didn't and I'm going to say it until you do. With that all being said, let's get into today's gameplay footage. Start to finish you guys, I'm going to share my whole thought process. Let's go 3000 gold for 600 gems. We're going to do the math and figure that out, put it in the intro. Uh, but right now let's get right into it. We do have our arena tutor open today. Um, I'm not sure if it's updated and is going to be able to help us here because these cards are unique to the new sealed and it looks like it's going to be a big old no. So let's get that out of here. Uh, we'll just drag it maybe right here, make it look all pretty. And uh, this is our sealed format. And I guess we're not uh, drafting, so there's no need to have the, the picks here. We've got a lot going on, though. There's a lot of mythics and stuff in here. Um... First glance, I see Robber of the Rich is nice. I see Playcrafter, Myers Grasp, Blood for Bones, the Raise Boar, potentially the Dryad, Dream Trawler, Staggering Insight. Uh, that looks nice. Ooh, we have a Platinum Angel flying. You can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. I don't know, maybe. I'm not that big-brained, I think. Uh, we have a Niv Mizzet that could be good. Um, a Guild Globe, a Shadow Spear, and some land. Oh my God, you guys, this is gonna be an experience, that's for sure. This is a big-brained operation, and it's gonna be a very long video. So buckle your seatbelts. Do we just go crazy five-color mana fair? Right? Or do we just be basic bitches and go green? <laughs> Curious Obsession. Termander. Bay of Wishes. Starlet Mantle, Sinister Sabotage. Oh my god, there's a Lyra Dawnbringer. Dream Trawler, Staggering Insight. Multicolored Land. Maybe Platinum Angel Air. Fairy Guide Mother. Our Dawnbringer. Maybe. I don't know. It's not very tempo. <laughs> Do we have any more counter spells? And Ionize takes us out of our colors. Giant Killer is just nice removal. What about draw? Mentor of the Meek. This used to be one of my favorite cards.
That could be something. It's not really a tempo play at all. Mm. I'm sure we can make some sort of gruel situation as well. That would be really good. Right? There's a fair green red base here as well. Search for Skant is good. Like eight more cards though, you guys. That's uh that's pretty crazy. We could splash black potentially. I think that's pretty messy though. Cryptic Caves is probably good. We've got Dual Boros. Um, that could probably work. A Boros build. Just based on how nice of land we have. Players can't gain life. Like That's pretty cool. I think Boros would work here. Gruel might work. I wouldn't mind just having a super consistent deck, though, and staying within my colors. Right, we could easily take the uh, removal. We could splash black. We've got two lands that are appropriate. And then what are we getting from black, though, that we want to splash for in the first place? A draw engine? Okay, life to draw. Potentially. Removal. I don't know if it's worth it. Especially with Dream Trawler's hard, hard pulls there. <clears throat> Six more cards. We can do this. Um... Artifacts, Legendaries, and Sagas. So that doesn't take our enchantments, which is what we want. Giant Killer might be good. Six cards, you guys. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's basically all of them. And then we'll just have dirt cards, basically. So that equals us taking Archon. That equals the Folio. And that probably means stolen by the Fae. Sentinel's Mark go on our Liar Dawnbringer. I guess, I don't know. Chart a course probably for a draw. I don't mind Giant Killer. 
just for the removal if we need it, or we can just tap stuff. It seems really good in limited. Even though it doesn't fit with our our base at all. If we splash Godless Shrine and Temple of Deceit, we can take Mortify and Despark, which are really nice cards, both instant speed as well. It's so tempting, you guys, to splash black in this for an Esper build. I just don't want it not to be consistent. Let's take this uh, Exclusion Mage. Oh my god. Deep breaths, you guys. Um, are there any amazing cards in here that we've totally ignored? Right, this is removal. That's heavy and very nice black removal. Destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. If X is 10 or more, return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's so good. There's a lot of really good black here. We might regret not going black. The Raised Boar is a beast. Vivian's Arcbow probably wins the game as well in the green. So it's pretty cool. Like with the same pile of cards, we could have built a multitude of different things, right? Dream Troll is pretty late in the game, but, you know, we're going to pray. Let's draw this over here. And uh, what do we call this? Cube draft? Cube one? Uh, UW? All right, you guys, let's put a sleeve on and get to work. Let's see if we can get five wins. Um, let's put our mountains on. Call it quits. We have 17 land. And, um, yeah. Let's get to work. We do get these packs, though. So what, uh, or that's just showing you the packs that we're opening. We don't get any packs. We just get these rewards. But again, uh, what was it? 3,000 gems, and you could win three cards, right? At least two of them rares. So that's 2,000 gems there. Plus, or, yeah plus 600 gems. Um, so you could potentially convert your gold into gems before the new set comes out to play sealed, um, which is really cool. So it's not a bad conversion, I think, but we are going to uh, make sure that it's good. We are using MTG Arena Tool today. We tried out the draft helper, but it, uh, it did not work. It was not updated. And I'm not sure if Assistant will be updated yet because this just came out you guys. This is fresh off the press We have a dream trawler and we have a platinum angel. That's a heavy drop though for seven. I Say let's keep it and let's just build into our trawler everything else is groovy, especially that Lyra Dawnbringer All right matching our opponent with white Steel overseer Wow Okay, we do get our folio of fancies out. Could be alright, could be alright. We have to pay two and draw one card. Or we can pay three and each opponent puts a number of cards equal to the number of cards in their hand from the top of their library into their graveyard. Um, so that would be really good if we could just mill him. He's already down to 31. Do you think we could mill him with folio? I didn't even think of running a mill deck when we seen folio. So remember, you guys, we are unlimited, and milling your opponent is uh, 20 cards easier. So he's going to token himself. I say let's go for it. Turning our folio into a 5-5. Five, five. And let's just smash, right? That's a lot of damage. He's going to need XL to deal with it next turn. I'm sure he does. Ooh, it's Boros in the house, baffling and There's the XL, yeah. Exiled. But again, that he's like, exiled our folio fancies. Is that really good? 
as a one drop, right? And he just spent two to do it, right? All that glitters, ugh. It's already a 5-5. Five, five. No blocks here, we really need to draw land. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Right, so we're going to return the Charming Prince to his hand. And then all that glitters is going to go to the grave. And we actually get two 1-1 one, one flyings out of this, so that's not the worst. No attacks here. Steel Overseer goes up. Steel Overseer is a house, you guys. Just incredible. Uh, we're trying to draw more land. Scry to the t two to the top for our opponent, so that's really nice. We get a land, that's nice. And let's play our Dawnbringer and just see where that gets us. He's going to need more Exile. Only two cards in his hand, though, so... You know, I don't think my chances are too bad. Right? we got plenty of flying power here. Start chipping away at this health. Down to 13. We're keeping pace. And uh, we each have three cards in our hand once he draws. And I'd give us a slight nod on field advantage because the Dawnbringer not only has flying, but lifelink, which is going to nullify any damage he does this turn. Or at least a good portion of it. Ooh, except it gets pacified. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No blocks here. We do have a revoke existence. The land is great too. Let's just keep pushing in. Big ol' flyer after big ol' flyer. You can't pacify this one. It's got hex proof, right? We can uh, exile plenty of things. Down to 11. Still keeping pace, both at two cards. And I still give us a slight nod on field presence due to our dream trawler over his steel overseer. Ooh, but he gets the Hellkite out, you guys. That's nice. It goes to a 5-5, guaranteed. We're going to flash the Sentinel's Mark in to get the kill on that Hellkite. That's going to be pro play. Down to 11, though. That's not nice. A Revoke Existence off the top would be so good. Let's toss that in. Um, Nothing to really give flying. But we could... Yeah. I was thinking that was Giant Killer for a second. Let's attack with all of our flyers. We get the draw. Still no revoke existence. Hopefully he blocks. He does. Let's now survive. Thinking that's our first win, you guys. Yahoo! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, man, that was a pretty good match, actually. I quite enjoyed that. Let's get right into our second, you guys. We have to win five in a row. They don't have to be in a row. I mean, ideally, I'd like them to be in a row. I guess I don't have Giant Killer in the deck either. Yeah. Three lands with our insight. I th think I'm going to keep it, right? We'll just play our guide mother and then insight it, turn three. Hopefully no removal on our opponent's side. Ouch, that actually does suck. 
it's a, a check land. So we're delayed a little bit here with the start. Let's just see what we can get up to here right at the start. Oh, great. Great. So it would trade with us. Playing our folio instead, just getting it on the field. I don't want to play the insight until we have protection from it, right? We have the Starfield Mantle. And we do get a fourth land here, which is nice. So now we can insight. Oh, we can't. We only have one planes. But he's tapped. So we're just going to go for it anyways. Hit the draw. Gain two life. A revoke existence is good in a couple ways. Each player draws X cards. Let's do that on his end step. We can each draw one card. It's a prison realm. So does it take the Staggering Insight with it? I hope. It's going to destroy the Staggering Insight. Yeah. Shoot. Bomber. I'm not sure that it warrants our Revoke Existence to get our Guide Mother back. Go for it. We just cut Liliana off the top. It's down to 21. Oh, my poor headphones. <laughs> oh, goodness. He needs to deal with that folio or just get things out of his hand. Hey, Johnny's pretty cool. I don't want to hurt you. Our true strength. We can return it with our mage at some point. We should do that on his draw step. Put up a blocker as well. He's down to 13. Exclusion. We need to draw more land is the thing. We're stuck on 5 and we need 6. He's going to spark double his Johnny. That's pretty cool. It's a good thing we have the blocker out. How deep does he try to go? Yeah, we must start plusing them. The life gain doesn't matter. We're going for the mill here. 13 cards left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This costs 3. Right, that gives us access to 2. Passing our turn, letting him draw. Once he does, activating our folio. We missed out on a couple extra cards by doing it the other way. I guess he can cast from his hand at instant speed now. Oh my god, we got his Archon Sons of Grace. Whew. And he's down to six. If he can't deal with our folio, we have him. Not next turn, but the one after. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six in his hand. He's looking through his graveyard. He does have black, which means reanimation is an option, unfortunately. Okay, Archon sends Grace out on the field for his whole turn. And he's got the two Johnnies in-house. 
We're 16 life, you guys. This is not good. One, two, three, four, five. We need a land to survive. Yeah, we definitely need to draw an untapped land here. It needs to be a plains. No, it doesn't. Right, we need one, two, three, one, two, three. It's got to go to the graveyard. Right, one, two, three, four. And he's got six. So that doesn't even work. We can't cast it anyways. We get the land. If we do it on his draw step. We bounce the Archon. One, two, three, four, five. He's got six. Let's pass it right on his draw. Now we activate our folio. And he's going to kill us this turn, unfortunately. I forgot about that, that we needed to do it um, before the attack phase. Good game, that's my bad. Friendship. We got close though, you guys, and it's because we missed it those two turns. If we did miss it that other turn, uh, we would have had it. I have let my friends down. So we kind of uh, blew that second round there, just from bad plays. That's why it's so important and limited to make sure you're getting everything perfectly. Let's just consider that a lesson learned and move on. So the Folio Fancy's Mail could work. I wish we would have focused more on that. I guess we can pop back to our, our deck and edit it between matches. Okay, so it's the same situation as last game. Hopefully we avoid removal. <clears throat> our, oh no, we go first. That's so cool. We shall pray, you guys. Oh my gosh, we got a Curious Obsession as well. Do you think we can stack and get away with it? I'm gonna try. Normally Curious Obsession is really cool because you can hold it up with uh, a spell pierce, I think it was, right? So you could get that counter off as well as putting your Curious Obsession out. Let's go crazy about it. Oh my god, draw two cards. Looking for a Starfield, uh, whatever they call it. We don't get it, let's just take the draw. That's a full hand, guys. Trying to avoid any type of removal here. Oh, we do. Nice. Let's attack and see what we get. Ooh, there's our Starfield Mystic. We like that. And we need two mana. Let's just make this guy a little stronger. And our turn. Discard a card. I guess our Platinum Angel doesn't do much for us here. Resolve. Let him target it. This is going to break his heart. Starfield Mystic. Gives it Hexproof. <clears throat> Ouch. Yeah. Double draw again. That's so much damage, you guys. We're up to 29. Revoke existence. Woof. Let's play our search. Let's play another island. It would be cool to have a counter. We don't. This is an artifact, though, so let's buff that up to a 5-5. Five, five. 
Oh, it's not? Enchantment, my bad. Oh my god, you guys were such scrubs. He needs to deal with our fairy guide mother. We don't need to draw, I can go to the graveyard. Uh, the Termander's pretty cool. Let's play the land. Attack. Okay, Thrix is cool. We can trade. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You think he likes Dream Trawlers? That's gotta be a full trigger, you guys. Oh my gosh, feels bad. <laughs> Alright, worked out a little bit better that we didn't try to go for the mill and we just focused on our, our main plan, which was the Flyers tempo situation. Two wins, three more. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Make sure to like this video, comment your thoughts down below, and uh, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, do so now, it's a great time. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified of our future uploads. Ooh. I'm gonna keep it. Because we get to scry one, look for that planes. Our little uh, Liger, Maya, is killing it today. What did everybody name their pet? Um, I expect individual names for everybody's pets, not the name it comes with. Straight chillin', our opponent is deciding whether to keep his hand or not, he does. We are looking for a planes slash a flyer. There's our planes, let's put our exclusion mage to the bottom. I guess that does work with Sagarin Insight, but um, that's a weird play, I'd rather just have a flyer. It is Gruel. Let's fake uh, an Essence Scatter here. He's thinking about it. He's like, oh my god. He knows Essence Scatter can counter Creature. He's a Gruel Creature deck. He doesn't do it. And now we can actually counter him. <laughs> That's awesome, right? So we bluffed him out by playing our islands before our planes. Oh my gosh, cycling, tranquil, thicket? What world are we living in? We want to counter his big baddie. Ooh, that's a good card. Deal with that. Dream Trawler can probably stay. You know what I mean? It's limited. We don't have four copies of it, so let's just get into it. We have the Sacrifice Switching Well draw two cards ability here if we need. Maybe. I might keep it because we've not played that gentleman that makes an artifact into 5 5, so probably just leave it there. Annex? Wow. Take the draw. We don't want to make his Annex tokens all 3-3s. Three threes. Right, we don't want to make our Dream Trawler 3-3. Three three. It's just... Oh my god, maybe we did. That's not good. It's very good. Uh, 
Ouch. We stuff ourselves on land. We should have upkeeped our witching well. We make sure to do it at our opponent's end step here. Getting hit for 12 though, you guys, minimum. I think this is the end of the line. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, we get hit for now. Minimum. I don't think she's got haste, so it's okay. Domri doesn't have haste either. I summon you. Ouch. Well, at least we get the land. It's a little, a little late though. LOL. Good game. That's two losses, you guys. We only have one win. Uh, ouchie. So this is not a great experience here. Let's take a look at our deck. Maybe Platinum Angel's too heavy. That's every blue card we have is in the deck. That's crazy. Take Giant Killer maybe. Just for like that the cast down. Is a uh, exclusion mage? Yeah, it's opponent controls. So the thing is, we have no way to bounce our platinum angel back to our hand to win the game eventually. So we would just lock ourselves in a weird mill thing, just like a no one wins, no one loses type scenario. Let's try to squeeze out a couple more wins. Good mana, and we have a one drop and a two drop, plus our protection. So we're just drawing that combo of ours, looking for various obsessions or um, staggering insight. Turn two search is like pretty good and limited. There's only what 32 more cards to search through. He's taking the draw, nice. Graveyard. We're looking for those specific cards. Let's chill. Ouch. Crazy stuff here, kids. Hopefully Resplendent Angel remains at a 3-3. Three, three. We are working way too hard to get this off the field. He does have Hexproof for the rest of the turn, at least. We basically emptied our whole hand, though. Resplendent Angel is so good. Takes a little look-see. Hopefully he whiffs. He does. Land goes to the graveyard for us. We have Vigilance at least. Trying to keep our animator in hand until we get that artifact in play. It doesn't really do anything at 
this point. Gosh dang it, Ash X minus three. Burns two of our auras. Let's toss our animator. What a nice drop, you guys. Oof. So then we have removal in our deck. At least our bases are covered, even though we're getting smashed. Hostage Shaker. Very good. Takes our Termander and just can recast it immediately. So this was our limited, cute, sealed experience, you guys. <laughs> uh, I can't win them all. Oh, great. Now that we don't have a creature. And uh, we're getting absolutely demolished. Too little, too late, you guys. Oh my god. What kind of seal pool did this guy get? This will be That's incredible. Um, yeah. We don't need the artifact now. Our artificer's gone. Loving the land. Just, just absolutely loving the land. You know what makes me happy? More land. Uh, I think even if we draw a dream crawler, we're just in like the world's worst position. I made you a gift. And he wrecks our banishing light. Takes this thing back. Oh my god. Takes an extra turn after this one. Return up to one target yeah. non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Deep and then below. exile Karn's temporal Life. surrendering. Oh. My. God. I cannot handle life. I'm gonna start throwing up soon. This is gonna be such bad anxiety. Uh, there's no planar cleansing in our deck, you guys. Let's just call it quits there. And uh, yeah, he gets to take an extra turn after this one again, hitting us for just an obscene amount of damage. That guy knows how to draft. That guy got a sick pool. And uh, he definitely knows how to build those decks. We only get two wins. So we're talking 750 gold. Three cards. Let's see what we get. Um, I mean, we have all our cards. Best case, we get gems. Uh, oh, these are old cards. Interesting. We can get historic from that. That's actually really good for me. Um, so yeah, we get... What? 750 plus 1,000. So 1,700 gold, basically. And we spent three to get it. So not a positive conversion at all. But it's probably a lot of fun to play if you've not played it. And uh, yeah, that's it for me, you guys. This was our Arena Cubed Sealed Experience. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon as well so you're notified of our future uploads. And most importantly, you guys, join our Discord community. Link is in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have better luck on your Arena Cubed Sealed Experience than I did. Let me know in the Discord how you make out. And if anybody gets a seven or sorry, a five win deck, be sure to post it. And so we can all take a little bit away from it and learn how to be better limited players ourselves. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care and we'll see you same time, same place tomorrow, every day on Twitch, 6 a.m. PST. If you liked today's video, be sure to check out some of our other content. We built playlists for our guides for beginners. And then we also have our greatest hits, which is a collection of our most popular videos. You can also subscribe if you're interested in winning up to 500,000 gems. So do that, tap that like button, send this out to a friend who you think might be interested in it as well, and have a great day.